How many triangles are there with vertices from the points shown below? No, we are not allowing degenerate triangles, meaning ones with all vertices on the same line, but we do allow non-right triangles. For example, notice how if we select, let's say, this point, this point, and this point, we can form a triangle. It's just not a right triangle. Also notice to form a right triangle, one of the points selected would have to be this corner point here. So if this point is selected, let's say this point and this point, notice how we do have a right triangle. There is more than one way to determine the number of possible triangles. For this explanation, we will divide the points into three groups, where one group contains just one point, this corner point, and then we have this vertical group of four points, and this horizontal group of five points. To find all of the triangles, we will first determine the number of non-right triangles that we can form when we choose one point from the vertical group and choose two points from the horizontal group. And then we'll also determine the number of non-right triangles we can form when we choose two points from the horizontal group and one point from the horizontal group. That sum will give us all the non-right triangles. And then to determine the number of right triangles, we need to choose one point from the vertical group, one point from this corner group, and one point from this horizontal group. And once we add in the right triangles, we will have all the possible triangles. So again, going back, let's determine all the non-right triangles when we choose one point from the vertical group and two points from the horizontal group. The order in which we select the points does not affect the triangle, and we don't use any point more than once, and therefore we'll be using combinations. To begin, the number of ways we can choose one point from four is going to be four, or if we want four, choose one. And then times, the number of ways we can choose two points from five, which is five, choose two. Four, choose one, times five, choose two, gives us a number of non-right triangles formed when we choose one point from the vertical group and two points from the horizontal group. And then we'll add in the number of non-right triangles we can form when we choose two points from the vertical group and one point from the horizontal group. Well, the number of ways of choosing one point from five is just five, or if we want five, choose one. And then times the number of ways we can choose two points from four is four, choose two. So five, choose one times four, choose two gives us the number of non-right triangles formed when choosing two points from the vertical group and one point from the horizontal group. So this sum here gives us all of the non-right triangles, and now we need to add in the number of right triangles. So to form the right triangles, we would select one point from each of the three groups. The number of ways of choosing one point from the vertical group of four points is four choose one, or just four, and then times the number of ways of choosing one point from one which of course is just one, but I'll go ahead and list it as a combination. And then times the number of ways of choosing one point from five, which is five choose one, which of course is just five, but I'll list it as five choose one. And now let's go ahead and evaluate the combinations. Four choose one is equal to four. Five choose two is equal to 10, plus five choose one is equal to five, times four choose two is six, plus four choose one is four, one choose one is one, and five choose one is five. This gives us 40 plus 30 plus 20, which is equal to 90 triangles. I hope you found this helpful.